What is going on, guys and gals? YouTube, this is Wise Dad, and we are back again with another edition of Frostpunk. Last time when I left you, we just got our first settlers coming in. Our scout team found them. Our scout team's waiting again to go right back out, so we're going to send them back out, see if we can find somebody else. And we have to do some work on the settlement. <clears throat> so you don't have to follow the stride and true path. Like we're gonna, The objective wants you to go to the sturdy shelter first. We're going to check around and see what we can find before we do that. Uh, sometimes you find food. You just find all kinds of stuff. And we're not trying to rush into that yet because we don't have enough... It, we don't have enough wood to make the houses that people's going to need much less the food our food is not looking good we do have 40 people not doing anything so we're gonna go ahead and build another sawmill if we have the wood we do so we're gonna can i hit both of them i can we're gonna place it right there we can actually use this road once we're done to uh, use for the supply depot right there if we uh, get that far. <laughs> we're out of wood. What? Alright, let's get the building. Get some people in that thing. We got the coal thumper research. We don't really need the coal thumper just yet, but I promise you we're going to need about six of them before it's all said and done and we don't have the wood to actually research anything neither why are you only at 60 so most of the time when it's like this just empty it out and refill it back up well it went to 70 we are gonna have to build a, another medical post we got 14 sick people and I really don't want a dead person yet Okay, we're built. Let's throw some people in there. <clears throat> Give me 25 before you go home. Thank you. I don't understand how I got hungry people, man. I only got 145 people when I had 150 food. I don't want to put food additives in just yet. So here's what I was talking about last episode. They want to heat the homes. Uh, I never addressed that. Discontent's going to rise either way. Even if you're going to fail it, more than likely, if you're not prepared for that. I really don't want to do... Dang. I don't want to do food with ad food additives yet. Let's promise to build a care house. That way the gravely ill can be treated in the there. Hope's going to go up some. Discontent's going to stay where it's at. We're not going to build it just yet because we need to use all the wood that we have for a medical post. Well, shoot, we probably have enough wood to do it, but we need 50 for the drawing boards. I desperately need that, so we... No, I gotta go to level 2. Either way, the medical post upgrade will be a nice addition, and then we can go ahead and learn the bunkhouse and try to get that figured out so the people stay a little bit warmer. Because winter is coming. We also... Let's do the steel works. We're gonna need that soon, too. We only have 31 steel. Come on now. Do I have enough to build another workshop? I do. Nice. What a stroke of luck on that. Is anybody working in this one? Dang, these are awful, man. How much food are we getting? Oh, uh, we're good. We're getting 160 day, 160 a day, and we're only using 140. So I mean, that's not terrible. I've been in a lot worse predicaments with it. There's survivors here. Let's uh, settler survivors. Our scouts will set off towards our. Yeah, let's just bring them home. Which kind of sucks because I just used all the wood that we had. And I don't know if we have empty houses or not. So that may have been a boo-boo. May have been a problem. 
Uh, we'll figure it out in just a second. They're not far away. There's the steel works. Uh, the more workshops you have, the faster you research. That's that's really what why you need multiples. I'm not going to go to tier two yet. I want to see if I have any homeless, and that paid off because I have 18 homeless. So that's two houses that we're going to have to build. Let's go to the crash site real quick. <clears throat> I know I got to build the care house. It's fine. So let's do one, two, three. I've done three because we're going to need it anyway. Get that wood, baby. How much coal you guys got left? 54 on that one, 103 on that one. So when that runs out, I'm going to put a resource depot right, or a gathering post right here, and I'm going to fill it full of kids. I can actually probably do that right now. You guys are full when you still got sick people in there? Let's go ahead and do the care house. Get this out of the way. And then we don't need the coal thumper yet. I could do the steel thumper. Um. I don't know. I think I'm shooting myself in the foot. I think we're just going to have to build up 50 wood because I really need the, the drawn boards done. I really need that. Let's see if we can dump some people into the care house. We did. Not enough, though. Not enough. We still have six needing medical. <clears throat> Now we have 11 needing medical. That sucks. You got wood and raw food. Oh, I need that wood bad. Let's bring that back home real quick. Let's go ahead and research level 2. Or level 1, I'm sorry. I thought we was at 2. Copal depleted. Copal depleted. All right. So we was kind of expecting that. I don't know if we have enough steel to... We do. We have five. How much wood do I have? I got enough. We'll park this bad boy right there. Run a little street back here. Connect them right there so we don't waste a lot of wood. We can go ahead and disassemble this. Get some resources back for it. Just can't believe I'm having that hard of a time getting wood. I need to get the steel works going as well. Let's see. First things first, we need the medical upgrade. How much is the steel no sorry okay like i told you guys last episode there are certain places you can only place certain things this is one of those things so we're going to place that there and that there and see if we have enough to make a street connect i doubt we do give her the good old try though won't we we sure don't Ah, uh, we're one short. That's fine. We'll just let it build it. We're going to get some wood. There we go. That might be enough. Should be. That's nine. That's one. Okay, yeah, we got enough. If the road's not connected, they're not going to build. Or they're not going to work. And here we go again. Freezing homes, Captain. People have gathered to protest. I won't address this right now. 
discontent's going to continue to go up. Let's go ahead and pass a law for the discontents. Really, the only thing we got right now we can do is the fighting arena. We'll have to build it. But I think that's what we'll do. But I don't have a, uh, I don't have enough. We'll, oh, I do now. Yep, I forgot he was on his way. Okay, let's send the scout team back out. The scout team's your bread and butter, guys. Anytime, do not leave it waiting. Anytime it pops up, get it right back out. Build the fighting arena right there. So if you guys see the houses are lit up a little bit, those are the only houses that's going to be affected by the fighting arena. I think we get a little more out of that one. Uh, same goes for churches and stuff. If you guys decide to go the religion route. I'm not going to build two. It's a waste of resources. I'll just build around that. We are going to build another medical hut. Rightly fast. Might as well build two since we have the wood. Hope rises. <clears throat> Discontent falls. That's what I like to see. So we're going to get the sick treated real fast. We have plenty of beds now. Why is nobody disassembling this? I'm waiting for workers. I have so many engineers not doing a daggum thing. So many. Let's give the kids some jobs, turn the heat on. Somebody's there. Oh, one of our people died. Dang it. And I just passed that law. I, I can't pass another law yet. Gotta wait 23 hours. So if you let your dad just lie on the streets, uh, it's gonna spread the black plague and the people's gonna get sick. And they're gonna die very fast. Very, very fast. I'm gonna throw some engineers in here just to get some steel going. There goes the medical post upgrade. We needed that. We're okay with that. We're okay with that. Let's actually do the bunk houses. Yeah, we'll do bunk houses. See if we can get these guys warmed up so they'll quit complaining because it's going to get a lot colder. Uh, I have finished the game before with just bunk houses. You can't upgrade to normal houses. They take a lot of resources though, so you better have your checkbook out because it's going to be a bit. So we're going to quit messing around with the sawmills and we're going to do the wall drill. What the wall drill does is you plug it into the wall and it gets forest before the ice engulfed so it provides up to 160 a day the sawmill think does a little better than that no only 80 i'm sorry but if you have an automaton which uh you guys will see what that is here directly it can work 24 7. and i know what you're saying well why don't you just run your city off automatons that is very true but also automatons are really expensive to make we can't make them yet and they break down and kill people but there is a scenario in this game to where you actually have to do nothing but animaton automatons to survive that's a really fun scenario it took me a really long time to beat you have to save the seedlings so you can replant the world when the great frost is over. And it is a very, very hard concept. Super challenging, super fun. All right, they're waiting again. What do we got? So this is gonna be our first automaton. This is the only one you're gonna find in the wild. Kind of like an animal. 
Uh, we stepped to the edge of a deep, wide ravine, marveling the steel bridge spanning it even more. So with the huge automaton sweeping snow from the roadway, it would be possible to send the machine back to our city or disassemble it for resources. Never disassemble <laughs> the automatons. Never. Ever, ever, ever. We're going to send it to the city. It will come by itself. It does take a lot of time. Large convoy weather station. We're going to go to the large convoy. We're going to get some peeps. Finding the bridge to Winterhome proved that we're on the right track, but race questions. Why is the bridge deserted? Why wasn't the automaton under the care of an engineer? Blah, de, blah, de, blah. Hope's going to fall. Everybody's still working okay. Are people's not dying yet? Oh, shit. They did die, didn't they? Yeah, we have to pass the law. We need the cemetery. I completely forgot about that. So we're going to put that right there. You can do the, uh, I forget what it's called. It's a hole in the ground. A snow pit, I think. The snow pit, um, pretty much what it, what it sounds like. You, uh, <laughs> you stuff your dead into uh, the snow pit but it cannot be close to the generator because it's going to get hot and spread disease all right let's work on the wall drill so when the automaton gets here we know exactly where to put his butt we're probably at the point where we're going to have to start building some coal thumpers as well why is that taking two lanes hmm. all right so we just used our first steam core steam cores are very important in this game and they are actually really hard to find. Steam cores also build automatons. So a steam core is a necessary component in advanced technology. We can't manufacture steam cores in the city. So let's hope that our scouts find them during their expeditions. Hope rises. Discontent falls. That's what I like to see, baby. So we need to... Let's go ahead and do this, the drafting machine, so we can get the hunter tactics and drop the number of hunters needed. What day? We're on day 11. It's going to get a little bit warmer in a minute. Uh, I think we're going to get this convoy back really fast. So we got 26 workers and 18 engineers. It is giving me engineers left and right on this run through. The wall drill is complete. The automaton's going to be here in one day and one hour. We're okay on wood. <clears throat> Why is discontent going up and down like crazy? I don't know. It's weird. There's no fighting in progress. Still works is doing its job. Like I said, out the gate, we're coming straight for the hunting tactics. So it, it'll it give us five people for each one of these. So that's 20 people. That's pretty big. And I'm probably going to have a lot of homeless right now. We're going to send the scouts right back out. Um, nah, that's fine. Let's go to the weather station. So I got 30 homeless. I don't really have enough steel for this, but we're going to go ahead and do it. We're going to upgrade the bunkhouses what we can. Three. Six, seven, eight. 10, 11. That's pretty good. We got 11 out of it. And then we're going to go ahead and build some tents for the new people. So I needed three, I think, maybe. We're going to build around this so we can utilize the boost that it's going to give off. We'll see if that's enough once they're all said and built. <clears throat> All right, so you guys see this. This is done. It's oh no, it's not. Our wood's full. That's why it's saying that. Never mind. About made a boo boo there. 
I don't think your people should be able to get sick while you're upgrading their houses. I kind of think that's kind of BS. And there's the automaton. What a glorious, glorious beast. Uh, keep in mind, you have to have the generator running at all times for the automaton to be able to refuel. Our first automaton is operational. This will help us gather our economy. It can replace entire manual labor crews. They work around the clock with short breaks and refuel with the generator. They are super, uh, in my opinion, they're the, they're the best in the coal thumpers. Or the coal mine. Uh, the coal mine can actually work independently. It doesn't have to have anything. We don't have the coal mine researched. And also, the coal mines take steam cores. That's why I would rather have the coal thumper. Which we are about to build. Because we are completely full on wood. Let's just go ahead and build two. So, each of these require two a piece. What? Oh, I'm out of steel. Damn it. Each of the coal thumpers uh, can fill up two gathering posts. So that's something also you need to watch out for. Get the houses built, please. Oh, it did warm up. So let's go ahead and put the automaton in the coal thumper. There's some more workers. We needed that. Throw the kids in that. Throw them in that. I really don't want to put anybody in. Oh, actually, I can get my engineers out, can I? There we go. Nope, get him out. Um... What do we need? What do we need? What do we need? What do we need? We can do the power upgrade. We just won't use it right now. <clears throat> How much coal are we getting? Let's let everybody get in their spots before we leave and look at it. Gathering post depleted coal. We've done that in the nick of time right there, guys. We're going to keep it on level one. We're getting 158 a day, and we're using 154. <laughs> Cutting her close. We definitely need the steel. See if we can build some more of these now. So there's going to be one, there's going to be one, and there's going to be one. We'll see how long we can make it on just those. What do you want? We're not going to heat the homes right now. Calm down. So we're going to get those gathering posts made up. I think we'll, we will be okay once we get people in them. We got the scouts going to the bridge. Uh, after the bridge, a lot of bad stuff happens. You guys are going to have to stay tuned and see what happens. But that's going to do it for us for this episode, guys. I hope you guys liked what you've seen. If you did, smash that subscribe button. Hit the like button, man. Much love is appreciated. But until next time, you guys stay safe, man. I love you.